All right, it is that time of the morning now where we cross over to the TNA with Peter at Gallagher Estate in Midrand. Lindiwe Sisulu, the Minister of Public Service and Administration, is our guest, and also the leadership of all unions represented are going to be there from Kasatu, ILC, and Fedusa as well. And uh, they, of course, this morning are going to be launching the Public Service Charter, which is a massive announcement. So let's uh, cross over to them right now. Cross over to them right now. Leanne, thank you very much indeed, and a very warm welcome to all of you at home. Yep, yeah, we're at Gallagher Estates in Mid Rand, which is just north of Johannesburg. And as Leanne was saying, this is the venue for the latest in the series of New Age Business Briefings, brought to you by the SABC, and today sponsored by Transnet. And uh, as Leanne was alluding, uh, it's a very important day because it's the launch of this document. I'm not sure if you can pick it up, but essentially it's uh, the service charter. And you're going to be hearing all about what that means and how it affects you. Uh, after all, the public sector, the public service, uh, various departments right across our country affect us every single day in one form or another. And the uh, minister is going to be ch t talking to us in a short while uh, about why this document is so important and also why we have uh, such wide representation here with the uh, trade union leadership uh, that's uh, joining us on stage here today. And also a little bit later on, you'll hear about a call center that's uh, uh, also being launched, the Batupila uh, call center, and uh, we'll be giving you the phone number. And again, this is a, an important event for you. It will change your life in theory. So we'll find out why uh, everybody here is here in their numbers uh, to support this launch. Uh, but first, it's my great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome the Minister of Public Service and Administration, Ms. Lindiwe Sasu. Good morning, South Africa. Thank you very much, uh, Peter. Uh, Mohsin Williams, uh, Deputy Minister here present, DGs, members of Parliament, Chairperson of the Public Service Bargaining Council, Presidents of the Unions, all protocol observed. Today marks a new era. We're breaking new ground in coming to you at home to commit ourselves to give you better service. At the point at which we were negotiating the salary agreement with unions last year, we struck a new course when we were negotiating the 7% that the unions had put on the table, finally. We as government had our concerns. We were worried about a growing wage bill. We were worried about declining morale in the civil service, we were worried about the declining standards of service delivery and a host of other things. We reached an agreement after heated discussions with the uh, representatives of labor that we could strike a new course where government could lay down its expectations of labor at the same time as attend to the problems that labor had put on the table about their working conditions, about their salaries, and a host of other things that are tendent to the negotiations space. In the context of South Africa, the service charter defines the values and principles that govern and conduct public servants who are employed by the state and serves as a statement of commitment by public servants to uphold those values and principles in rendering services to the citizenry. The Charter outlines the services offered by the state and the service standards that underpin those services. It states the commitments by both state and as the employer towards the public service and the commitment by the public servants towards the citizen. So here we are talking to you, South Africa. We, representing the state, committing ourselves to creating an environment that is conducive for the public servant and representatives of the labor unions representing the public servants committing themselves that they will give you better service. The charter that we're launching today commits public service to contribute towards a professional public service by serving the public with respect, 
in order to create confidence in the public service, to provide timely service, to promote development and the upliftment of all South Africans, to protect every person's dignity and rights as contained in the Constitution, to not engage in any transaction or action that is in conflict or infringes on the execution of their official responsibilities, to act against fraud and corruption, nepotism, maladministration, and any other act which constitutes an offence or which is prejudicial to the public interest, and to demonstrate professionalism at all times, competence at all times, excellence at all times, transparency at all times, and impartiality at all times in the performance of their official duties. The Charter not only provides a basis for government and its institutions to develop service standards, it also provides a basis for the state to to appreciate and recognize the good work done by the public servants. We are here to commit ourselves. We would like to hear from the people that we serve what they think about this step, because we would like you to support us. The second step from here would be how you relate to us, what social contract you as our citizens would like to sign with us. I am very glad to have with me here representatives of all the labor unions who have come to join me and will be able to assist in answering any questions that might come. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you, call to the call center. <laughs> all right, so what's going what's to happen now is that we are... Uh, are we going to take a commercial break first that we'll go straight to the call? Because uh, we're going to be launching the, the Bachupile call center at, right now. In fact, the minister is busy calling the call center. Uh, and this is a vehicle that you'll be able to use at home uh, to call if you have any issues uh, with any level of the public service. So let's see if the uh, minister gets through and uh, let's see what, how the conversation goes. Is it ringing? It is ringing. It has asked me to press one if I'm a South African citizen. <laughs> now I have to choose my language. Okay. Shall I choose Venda? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I chose Afrikaans. <laughs> How's your Afrikaans? <laughs> you can even write the Italian. All right. Okay. So, what we're hoping as well at the same time is. We've got a camera there at the venue, and uh, there's a person there, a gentleman, who will be able to explain to us how the call center is going to operate and how it's going to function. But essentially, uh, what this center is uh, going to be is a service uh, that the public can use uh, at any time if they've had any experience or ask any questions uh, to get some clarity or report. Uh, this call center is a one-stop shop where people will be able to uh, communicate directly with the public service. And uh, one hopes that uh, when it's up and running, full force, uh, that uh, you'll get through much quicker than Minister's doing right now. <laughs> well, this is what we had hoped would not happen. Please hold. Your call will be answered. Absolutely. <laughs> it proves it's live. <laughs> it proves that it's live. Okay. All right. Sh shall we take it's a commercial live. break and then uh, come back? All right, okay. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to set up the line and as soon as we come back, uh, we'll have that uh, call center experience. Uh, you can t find out exactly how it works and uh, find out how our team is doing on the other side in Centurion. All right, let's take a break. <laughs> 